my Polaris Ranger 800 project. It's got the engine pulled apart. <laughs> and so much gunk in here that the counterbalance shaft was actually bouncing around in this area. Just loose. I got blocked bearing surfaces are okay. Luckily, doesn't look like it spun. It did try and rotate a little bit. I mean, see that gap there of how much putty was in between the block and the oil pan. Cylinder walls look okay. I mean, just with my finger, compression felt all right. Camshaft is okay. Oil pump's a little scored up, but it'll be fine. You know, we've got gaskets here on the crankcase that were torn apart and just gooped up instead of being replaced. And then we got uh, shiny things does not do well for got one connecting rod then we got our displacement on demand so <clears throat> about $800 in the engine $150 of random parts and either about 25 hours of welding up this frame or a $1,500 frame I found online that comes with full suspension to swap it over and make it a XP model Ranger. It's going to be an XP model frame suspension with a mid-size 800 uh, body on it and roll cage. Two-seater with wider stance. So should be pretty fun and goodness I can't see it now but all the bends that this frame has <clears throat> try imagine that's supposed to be straight same with this one and just everything's just tweaked a little bit from the initial accident hard to see no it added light Kind of hard to see that cross member right there, broken half. And this whole thing shoved back, you know, cause this to twist up like that a little bit, and cause this to twist out this direction and up a little bit. And then, so when they ratcheted it back together, there's a seat frame up here that they used to come along against. They just bent everything, and then going from this bar to this bar. It's all, you know, it's off by a half inch, three quarter inch. So this piece here is bent. This piece here is bent. All these stamp pieces of steel. Whew. Sure hope I can get a decent price on that frame and suspension because I really don't want to be <clears throat> stuck rebuilding this one. At least I don't have to spend $1,500 in the engine. You know, should be good with just the $1,000. Plus other things like I need to get a battery, a fuel pump that's 150 bucks itself, or $200 for the fuel pump, fuel line, and a couple other minor things that are escaping my mind right now. This, this thing takes about 10 bolts to take the whole thing apart, no matter what you touch. And these guys, when they started adding things to it, they added... They added like 15 other types of bolts and nut sizes and whatnot. I mean, carriage bolts for the hinge here. And on the hinge, they had a little, for the bed hinge, they had a little four inch spacer made out of some combination of angle iron and scrap steel, like a sh spring shackle, holding this back. Because this part of the frame right here is bent so much where the cab was that this was shifted back a little bit. So instead of trying to fix something correctly, they just put the shackle back here that caused the bed to be angled back I mean it's just I mean I saw a couple of things wrong with the frame when I first grabbed it but the amount of rednecking that they put into this and of course since everything was twisted and bent and improperly lined up when they put it back together the output shafts probably if you extend the output shaft of the engine and input shaft of the transmission out in a straight line for 10 foot 
they would be three foot off each other at the end with how poor their alignment was. I mean, it's amazing that the thing was able to do five miles an hour at 3,000 RPM. Rattling as bad as it was. Over and out.